name is Heather. Today I'm creating some of these little collages. I'm calling them door hangers, but basically they're just little collages that I like to make and then I add the little hangers to the top and I just hang them around my house here and there. I love these angel images. They are from the Love and Light kit and I'm gonna use these old book covers as my base. So I love that the, um, the old book covers are gonna give that like really vintage vibe to this project. But if you don't have any old ones, you could use newer ones and just age them up a little bit or even just cardboard that you cover with different papers, just something a little bit sturdy for the base. So I'm just matching up the angels to the book covers, like trying to lay out how I want them to lay on the page. And I tend to really like a lot of simple projects and these are very simple and I kept them super simple because I was a little bit in a hurry when I was making these. So um, we are in the Christmas week. This is Christmas week this week and I was making them because I kind of want to hang them around my house. But I plan to leave them up because I just love angels and I wanted to have some little angels hanging around. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. You can embellish these as much as you want. You can add laces and trims, but you'll see that I keep these really simple. But the most beautiful part I think is I'm gonna be glittering the wings. On this angel, I decide to, instead of using like the whole image, I'm just gonna cut off the top of her, like just the part that has her with the wings and I'm gonna cut off that swan boat, which I love so much. And that actually is an image that I plan to frame and put in my house. I love it so much. So these images are just so beautiful. They bring me so much peace just looking at them. So I'm just kind of, aging I don't know what just going around and like ripping them kind of making them look a little bit old folding the corners in a little bit I was thinking about using that bigger cover for this angel but I decided to use another smaller one and then just kind of let her cover the whole the whole cover so now I'm just going to go around and distress the edges a little bit and I'm going to spend some time kind of crinkling the different edges because whenever I go to like glue it on the book cover I kind of want to have a little bit of a wrinkled look to the the print So now I'm just going to, before I glue them on, I'm going to layer a little bit of different book pages and just did some different aged papers behind. I like those little bits at the top that just kind of fold over, just that rough edge. I love the layering of that. So that's what I'm going to be doing on all of them.
So now I'm just going to be gluing all of these layers down and kind of arranging them on the book covers how I like them and getting everything, you know, assembled together. Okay, so now I have everything together. I'm gonna be starting to glitter the wings now and I'm gonna be using some glass glitter and also some stickles, little the little bottle of stickles I got at my local craft store. I'm gonna be using silver of both. I'll just say, because I know I'll get questions, but I know that I've talked about this before about the glass glitter, so sorry for being repetitive. Um, the glass glitter that I like is the German silver glass glitter. I like the 90 grit, and I like the Meyer Imports brand. That's my favorite. So I will try to remember to put a link in the description box, but they have an Amazon store and they also have a website. So I'm just taking my little stickles uh, glitter glitter glue here and I am touching up like I'm going around and I'm going to add a little halo around her head and then I'm also I put some on her belt. So I love that and then once I start putting it on the wings you'll see me I'm going to add some glass glitter over top of it so I'm going to put it on and kind of use it as my glue. And then I'm going to add glass glitter to the top. I'm just kind of using that stickles bottle as almost like a paintbrush. And I'm just putting it here and there on the wings, especially on the tips. So now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that glass glitter over the top of where I put the stickles down. And just another thing about that glass glitter is it does tarnish over time. There's some element of silver in it. So it, it tends to get a little bit more of a black look to it over time. And it's still sparkly, but it ages. So I just want to make sure I say that in case you're not familiar. Once I get the glass glitter on, sometimes I go back in with the bottle and just kind of go back over it a little bit and remove some of it. So now I'm just kind of working my way around and I'm going to do this on all the wings of each of the angels. And I just really like the idea that it's just lightly put on or just like kind of not super organized with the way that it's on there. And then once I once I put it on, I set it aside and I let it dry a little bit. And then I go back in with my finger or like a paper towel and I just kind of wipe a little bit, sometimes like certain areas so that it's not so perfect looking.
And here she is looking so pretty. I just love her so much. She is, she's beautiful. They're all so pretty. I spend a lot of time after they kind of dry just going back over it and, and wiping some parts of it off. I, like if it's a little bit too clumpy or just a little too heavy in certain areas. And then that's the nice thing about the glass glitter is it just kind of falls off a little bit easier. So now that I have them all glittered, I'm going to use my crocodile and I'm going to put holes on either side of each one to get ready to add the hangers. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this jute cord and I'm going to double it up and then I'm going to put one end, each end through each hole. So then once you get it in place how you like it, adding enough room at the top to hang it from something, then I just tie a knot on each side to kind of let the knot be um, big enough so that it doesn't go back through the hole. And then once you do that, you just cut off the excess on either side of the ribbon. I also really like to fray the edges once I get them in place and I love that messy look. So this is the part where you can add different ribbons or trims or just different things kind of like hanging off the side or whatever you like but I think I'm just going to use that tool on one of them and I end up keeping mine really simple and I love how they turned out. So now they're all finished and their wings are all glittered. I love them so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know they're very simple, but sometimes simple is really pretty. And I think they would make a really nice gift as well. So I'm planning to hang mine around my house, just like on my doorknobs and cupboard doors, things like that. So I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you again soon.